ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, please stand for our national anthem. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Aqueduct. Sunny skies on this Friday. The main track is fast. The turf courses are firm. The portable rail is set out at 9 feet on the inner turf and at 12 feet on the outer. And we have a carryover in the Empire Six of more than $157,000. If you'll turn to your programs, we'll go over the changes for today's 10 race card. And nothing to report in today's opener. In the second race, Scratch 1 held accountable, 1A out of orbit. Scratch 2, Sorrentina Lemon. And Scratch 5, No Hain, No Gain. Scratch 1, 1A, 2, and 5. Please note that jockey Arad Ortiz Jr. is off his mounts today. So in the second race, number 9, Arabella Bella will be ridden by Joel Rosario. Joel Rosario rides the 9. In the third race, a jockey change on number three, Water White, to Manny Franco. Manny Franco rides number three. And overweight in the fourth race, number five, GT Sonia is two pounds over. Race five will start the Empire Six. Note that number one, Amazing Zero, runs with a hood again. Scratch number eight, Rousey. A rider change on number 14, Firestormy, to Kevin Serrano. Kevin Serrano on number 14, and the apprentice allowance is waived. The weight is now 124 pounds. Also scratch number 16, Barbara P. In the fifth, scratch numbers 8 and 16. Sixth race jockey change on at number 6, Beyond Brown, to Jose Ortiz. Jose Ortiz rides the six. Note that number 12, Sophie Fatal, is three pounds over. Scratch the also eligibles. 13, Tornado Crossing, through the 16, Courageous Girl. Scratch 13, 14, 15, and 16. Seventh race. We have a rider change on number one. Hop on the bus, Gus, to Manny Franco. Manny Franco rides number one. Scratch 12, Karen's Gem. 13, Cover Photo, and 14, Radiant Rhythm. Scratch 12, 13, and 14 from the seventh race. Turning to the eighth race, we have a couple of scratches there. Scratch number one, Can You Handle This? And eight, Slimy. Scratch one and eight. Ninth race, 
Scratch one, catch a cab. 1A, Zapparini, and 8, Mills. In the ninth, scratch 1, 1A, and 8. And in today's 10th and final race, note that number 10, Kefaliani, is one pound over. And scratch the also eligibles, 13, Sweetleaf, through the 16, Super Blood Wolf Moon. Scratch 13, 14, 15, and 16, out of the 10th. Main track fast, turf course is firm. Empire six jackpot carryover of more than one hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. The opener at the Big A in twenty-four minutes at twelve o'clock. No sport in the world brings the winds home like racing. It's one of a kind, high speed, high stakes action, and Naira Bets takes you there. Place your bets and watch the races live from anywhere. With Naira Bets, make easy, secure deposits and promotions every day to earn reward points or cash. Download the Naira Bets app or visit NairaBets.com. New members earn up to a $200 deposit match with promo code BIG A at NairaBets.com. Introducing the Cash Card Vending Machine. Fans can purchase preloaded cash cards with cash, debit, or credit at all Naira tracks. Simply select your desired cash card amount, insert your cash or card into the reader, and collect your cash card. Cash cards work at all self-service terminals. No more handling of cash or tickets is required. Change the way you bet.
Thanks for staying with us at Aqueduct Live. Andy Serling in the Clubhouse studio here at the Big A. Maggie Wolfendale will be joining us starting with race number three. Nice afternoon. Ten race card. Noon post today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Ten race cards each day. Nice big fields. Looking forward to the weekend of racing as the excellent racing at Aqueduct continues. Race number one. We'll see if the drop in class benefits the three vintage Hollywood. I'm hoping it does. Uh, he was right near the pace last time. And even though he's not a horse that's usually that forwardly placed, I'm hoping that last time showed he can be more forward before he was sort of taken out of the running. Uh, it ended up being a pretty quick pace last time because there is not an abundance of speed in this race. We'll see. He was claimed for 20, uh, a sharp, theoretically sharp to claim a New York bread out west. He didn't work out the non-winners of one. They are dropping him substantially, and that is not a positive sign. He very well may be claimed out of this race. Still, he has the best race of these, and at least the best recent races. I'm taking a positive view of the favorite, the number three, Vintage Hollywood. I understand the thinking of Beach Access. Bobby Clouded a talking horse with me. Um, correctly said he could well be the speed of this race and Joy Martinez who's been having a terrific meet and has really been riding well not just here but really was turning things around I think at Belmont I thought he showed a lot of promise at the start and things going very well for him I have to imagine he'll be losing his seven pound bug soon and that's a sign of success beach access can be forward now he has not run in six months and that's always a bit of concern four to eight month layoffs though for uh, for Leah Giamatti she's just four for 21 with a dollar 34 ROI but the number isn't so bad to suggest that the horses can't come back and run well and if he's forwardly placed it could really help we have had a racetrack over the last four racing days that has played both very slowly that's the main track played very slowly the times were as slow as ever yesterday slower even than the weekend and it has definitely been advantageous to be towards the front of the pack or out in the clear at the very least the five booby trap does not have a ton of early speed we'll see where this one is placed taking a significant drop for AC Avia. The recent form, not a lot to write home about, but in reality has figures that are fast enough to win here and just simply can't be discounted dropping in class at a slightly better price than the aforementioned horses. The one in here who seems to consistently run the best and fastest races might be the one Dooley, and on occasion it gets in the winner's circle. It's not often. He's just due for 28 lifetime. Not that reliable as he actually switches to, to uh, Manny Franco with Eric Cancel taking the mount on the number five in here, booby trap. The problem with Dooley is that he has no speed, and this is not a racetrack that has been kind to horses with his running style. Perhaps it's been difficult to run through the kickback, and he is taking a lot of money in here. But on, his consist on a consistent level, he's running speed figures that make him a player in this race, and Manny has run in the past, though not successfully. Up in Saratoga, the early pick five, and all the action kicks off 13 minutes until race number one.
The horses are coming out for today's first race. It'll be run at one mile. There's Exacta, Trifecta, Superfecta, Double, Pick 3, and Pick 5 wagering. Main track fast, turf course is firm, seven minutes the post. Post time in three minutes.
One minute to post. One minute. The horses are now nearing the starting gate. 